It is true what the book says. You can be free again. Perhaps not you yourself, but someone worthy of the privilege. You witness now the path toward salvation. You witness the rights, the one way to return to glory. Though in your case, I hardly think it possible. Yet, by the grace of the scribes, it is my duty to inform you anyhow. A celestial orb falls from the heavens when the time is nigh. The orb is used to quench the burning pyre. Two pyres shall ignite, a field of one another. Exiles conduct the rites as a triumvirate, for they must prove their trust in one another, not just in themselves. The three must act as one. Yes, the exile Hedwin has the way of it. Yes, the exile Jodariel has the way of it. Yes, the exile Ruki has the way of it. Oh, but it is not so simple. In the rites you shall face adversaries whose own freedom is at stake. Beware the aura that surrounds them as they shall beware yours. The aura is your wrongdoing. Accept it as a part of you. The orb absorbs the aura, then the orb quenches the flame. Whoever steps into the flame is banished for a time. His or her cohorts must make do on their own. Now snuff out the adversary's pyre whilst yours yet burns. There, dear reader, now you understand. Or do you? This was but a glimpse of that which lies ahead. <laughs>